a cheap Chinese sold yarn, uh, which I got because I thought, well, what can you get for 99p? And it, uh, another thing that stuck out was the fact it wasn't earth, which isn't a very good thing given it's got a hot heating element at the end and, you know, heat degrades insulation and so on. And this got off to a really bad start because just before I'd even started this video, I, I just saw that, you know, it's got this huge hole at the end of the wires up it, and I thought, is there any strain relief? Really and I pulled it, and it just went pop, and the wires just came out. So, um, right. So, uh, this one came from uh, eBay, a seller called, pff, blame me, Dane Rajan, D-H-A-N-E understroke R-A-J-A-N. And it costs 99p inclusive, so let's not have too high an expectation. Now, I wouldn't use it on electronic stuff, because um, obviously you want, it's better to have a grounded tip for static reasons and safety reasons as well. But maybe it's okay if, if you're willing to overlook the lack, complete lack of earthing that for doing just basic electrical connections and stuff like that. But anyway, let's uh, open it up. So, um, no solders connections, it's just um, the usual arrangement, I think, of uh, the connection wire being twisted with the actual resistance wire. And presumably this is some sort of strain relief system that that wire was supposed to be zigzagged round it, I'm not 100% sure. And then wedged down there, but it didn't seem to make, make a very tight fit into it, so um, it didn't. Um, what's the resistance value of that? Supposed to be a uh, 220 volt, 40 watt. So uh, let's do the maths with that then, and uh, see what sort of resistance we're expecting. If we can find the calculator, where's the calculator? I've put the calculator down. Have I lost the calculator? There it is. So uh, P equals I. I equals P over V. So we're looking for 40 watts divided by 220 volts. Oh, 40 watts divided by 220 volts. So we're looking for a current of about 180 milliamps. Uh, R equals V over I. 220 volts divided by 0.18. We're looking for a resistance of about 1.2K. So let's uh, turn this to 2K. And my finger resistance won't be too significant here, so I'll just hold the wires on. 1.8, which will probably fall uh, as it heats up a wee bit. Yeah, that's okay. That's reasonable enough. Um, okay. Right. Here in the UK, uh, uh, just the bit for the solder iron would probably cost more than this whole solder iron cost, so it's quite short. Guessing this comes out completely, does this just hold the whole assembly in the end? It'll be quite interesting to see what sort of insulation there is in here. This is proving... not quite sure how the guts are held in this. Let's try sliding this up. Is that going to release it? Oh, there we go, there we go. Is that the heat element? Wrap round that? Is there insulation in here? That can't be the heat element, is it? There's a wire tucked underneath and running up, but it's underneath it. And that's exposed. That can't be the heat element, can it? Let's uh, double check that with the resistance.
Oh no, that's not the heating element, that's just a, a dead short. So that... Hmm, sudden jump, because the iPad ran out of memory apparently and just decided to stop recording without any warning. Anyway, uh, the construction was such, the wire that I just measured the resistance of there was just a steel wire that was... Basically they'd uh, run it down uh, from the top there uh, to the bottom and then wound it round upon itself and then wound it up to the top and then twisted it back in itself and the whole purpose of that was to hold on a layer of this sort of strange plasticky mica insulation. It's very plasticky. Very odd. Uh, so there was a layer of the mica insulation over what turned out to be um, well one layer over the whole lot then another layer to separate the return wire from one end of the heating element from the rest of the heating element and then finally the heating element wound round a layer of mica uh, that was directly on this uh, the support for the the heat the uh, soldering tip and it's interesting that uh, initially I thought is there any risk that the soldering tip could drop down inside and short those wires out but if it drops down it's stopped the end is pinched in so it can't theoretically fall through I suppose you could put it in the wrong way around yeah but anyway uh, I still don't much fancy the fact it's not got uh, earthing on the barrel. That would have made it a lot better in my my thoughts. But uh, it's, quite, it's quite an interesting construction, the multiple layers, the basically three layers of mica and then held in place by that outer section of the, the wire. So it's, it's neat enough, but as I say, I wouldn't trust it uh, from an electrical safety perspective by our electrical standards because... Um, I just prefer something like that to have an earth connection onto it, just in case uh, something, you know, a fault in manufacturing or the, just the insulation broke down with the heat over time. But uh, interesting to take, take to bits anyway.